insanely cheap FIFA coins, go to Foot Flash. They have FIFA points. They have coins on both consoles. And use the discount code QKN for 5% off. Link in the description. What is going on boys? It is me Quinkin and welcome back to a brand new series on my channel. In this series, we will be looking through young players that you should buy in the next career mode in FIFA 16. And I'm not sure what I'm going to name it yet. I think I might name it FIFA 16 Potential Wonder Kids or FIFA 16 Wonder Kids. I'm not sure yet, but... We're going to be going through some players that you guys would want to use in the next FIFA. They're all young and they're all under 19 years old. And if you guys have any suggestions that you guys want me to know about that I can showcase in the next episode, leave a comment down below. Thank you for all the support and let's try to hit 80 likes on this video and I will release the next episode. But that is pretty much all I have to say. I put a lot of effort into this. So if you guys can support me, that will be freaking awesome. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, the first player we're going to take a look at is Gonzalo Mendes Paciencia. He is a striker from Porto and he does have a potential of a 84. He has 4 star skill moves and overall he is a very, very good striker. He knows how to work the ball. He deserves those 4 star skill moves and in real life this kid dribbles, he gets past defenders and he is overall a great finisher. He's a player you would want to pick up in your FIFA 16 career mode if you're starting off with a mid table team that has a good amount of money you're going to want to pick him up because he has great potential and the future is bright for this kid. Overall, one of the best young strikers in the world today. He is Portuguese, which is another good thing. That's good for the Portuguese national team because they've been falling off with strikers. They haven't been producing a lot of great talent in the striking position, and this kid could be the one to help them out. Now, this is how his stats do look. He does have a lot of yellow, orange, and red stats, but overall, with his four-star skill moves, that does not matter because he can go up in pace, shooting, dribbling, and almost virtually every stat. And I do believe that he will have at least a 86 potential in the next FIFA. He does have an 84 right now, so an 86 would really help him out, and a lot of people would pick him up in their career mode. All right, George Puskas is the next player we're going to take a look at. It's another striker, and there are actually two strikers from Inter that I wanted to talk about, but the next striker will be in the next video. But this is George Puskas. He is 18 years old, and overall, this kid looks to be a very, very huge talent. He is Romanian, and he plays for Inter. Now, the reason he caught my eye is because look at that last name, Puskas. Puskas is a player that played in Real Madrid. He was a legend. He scored so many beautiful goals and this kid has his last name if you guys ever want a career mode and you want a good storyline behind it this kid is the one you want he does have a 61 overall rating in FIFA 15 and he has a potential of an 81 but I think it will go up in the next FIFA all these players I'm mentioning have to go up because they're all great players and George Puskas looks to be a very very crafted young player in FIFA 16 now the next player we're going to take a look at is Mauricio Tevez. Yes, you heard me right. Mauricio Tevez. I don't know if he's related to Carlos Tevez, but he is Argentinian, so there might be a possibility. He is a right winger, and this kid is freaking awesome. He is very fast, but overall, what you're looking at with this kid is a very good winger that's very, very deadly in finishing. You give him the ball, and once he's in front of goal, he is going to make that goal in. This kid is freaking awesome and there are a lot of teams that want to bring him to Europe but for now he is still in New Wells old boys. I think that's a team where Messi came out of but Argentina is producing a lot of great wingers and this is a player you might want to get. He doesn't have a very high potential in FIFA 15 but I kid you not that this kid is a player to look out for. He does have a 79 potential, which is fairly decent, but in FIFA 16, I do see them bumping it up at least to an 83 because this kid is freaking awesome, and he did score in the first league game he was in versus Boca Juniors, and that was a huge goal. We finally made it to our last wonder kid. That kid is Steven Bergwijn, and he is a left winger from PSV. He is Dutch, 
and he is another great Dutch winger that plays for PSV and PSV are always providing a lot of great young talent if you're ever in a career mode I suggest you go to the Dutch league because they have a lot of great young players like this one and Steven Bergwijn this kid has great acceleration great balance and this kid if you see him play in real life this kid gets physical with you but overall he's a great playmaker and he's actually pretty good at finishing he can play on the wing he can cut in he can play in the middle and he can serve you some very good balls it's sad that he does have three star skill moves i would like him to have a little more but he does have four star weak foot which is freaking awesome for a player of his stature and he does have 81 potential and i do think he will have a 83 or a 84 in the next fifa this kid is freaking insane and he looks to be awesome in FIFA 16. All these players I mentioned, they're all freaking awesome. I suggest you get them in FIFA 16. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, please slap a like. Let's get over 80 likes and I will release the next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy and give me some suggestions of players you guys want to see in the next episode. Leave a comment down below and I will take your suggestions. But these are some of the players I do want to use in FIFA 16. Tell me what you think about them in the comment section down below. But that is pretty much it. I'm Quinkin, and I'll see you guys next time. I will come home.